Well, here it goes. Oh, oh my. Okay, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Now we are in the comfort of my car and I have to show you something. I've got some Dubia roaches over here which I've been gut loading with some some yeah, pellets over there. Okay, take a look at this. Now this tarantula, we have not paired her before, right? We have never paired this girl. And look at this, look at this. You see that? That right there is an egg sac and we have never paired her. And the thing is, the egg sac is soft. She has already abandoned it. Usually these guys, they will hold on to their egg sac for dear life. And we will separate the egg sac from the mum after about 30 to 35 days. And she has already pretty much left this egg sac at one corner of the enclosure. She's done caring for this egg sac. So what we're gonna be doing is, I'm actually at my friend's place. We're gonna go home and we are going to open this and maybe put it in an incubator if the eggs are actually fertile. I doubt it's fertile, but what the heck? It's soft. So just put this over here first. Okay, and now we're gonna be feeding her. We've got some roaches over here. I'm not sure if she will eat for us, but hey roaches. Hello, Dubia. Oh, no, you are not. Oh, my. Let's see if she will eat for us, okay? Get the freaking roach. Eat. You want to eat? Grab the roach. No? Grab the roach. Oh, man, I should I should not be using my hands. Are you hungry? You hungry? Oh, yeah. Come on, you're not hungry. Are you serious? Come on. Oh, sad. Yeah, that, that's fine, that's fine. The main thing for this video is this. She legit laid an egg sack and we never mated this girl. So, fingers crossed that we're going to have babies, although I highly doubt it. All right, we're back and now we're gonna cut this egg sack open. And if you guys are wondering, why didn't I leave it with the mother? Well, she's pretty much already abandon this egg sac so hmm, let's zoom in a little bit when the mother abandons the egg sac most likely she's not taking care of it anymore and usually oops, look at that the mother will always turn the egg sac as she takes care of it but unfortunately this egg sac is infertile because she has never been mated before okay and tarantulas are not parthogenic from what I know. She just laid this and just left it be. She didn't bother to take care of it. She just dropped it. If not, we would have little baby tarantulas. Look at that. So that's a tarantula egg up close for those who don't know because usually we will wait 30 days for the egg sac to be with the mother before we take it out to incubate it and by the time we incubate it the eggs will not be looking like this they would already have legs so infertile egg sac unfortunate but it is what it is can't do anything about it we never paired her she just randomly laid an egg sac just wanted to share that with you guys because this is also the first time I'm cutting open an infertile egg sac. Curious how many eggs there actually are. Hmm, shall we count? Let's pour them out onto the styrofoam pad or I don't know what you call it. Look at that, all the infertile eggs. That is crazy, man. Ah, uh, if only we paired her. Usually tarantulas, they will take care of their egg sac with dear life. But this one just laid this and left it be. She couldn't be bothered, so that's unfortunate. So yeah, there's the egg sac. Let's have a quick count and we'll see how many we can expect. One, two, three, whoops, whoops. Three, four, five. There are exactly 260 eggs over here. That is insane. And all of them, unfortunately, are infertile. You can see they are very, very, 
what can I say, they're very fragile. I just move them a little bit and they just pop open. Yep, that's how it is, unfortunately. And instead, you know what? Instead of like throwing all of this away, am I thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> My wild mind is telling me to just cook these. <laughs> instead of throwing them away, let's cook them. Ah yes, there is something definitely terribly wrong with me. <laughs> but I mean, they're infertile, so no harm done, right? If I don't throw them, they're gonna start to rot and stink. So why not do something never done before on the internet? I mean, Brian Barczyk has tried snake eggs, and since I'm a tarantula keeper and there's infertile eggs, well, here it goes. Oh my. Oh. oh my. Okay. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Oh. Okay. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh my. Oh. Okay. What the heck am I doing? Oh. Man. It started exploding. Man. That's a big mess and I didn't even get to throw. I thought everything was going to roll in. It's okay. I'm not going to be eating all anyway. So that does not look appetizing. Okay, I think, I think that's good enough. Now, oh my gosh, what am I even doing with my life? So that is how the fried tarantula eggs look like. And just a reminder, this is an infertile egg sac. She has left the egg at the corner, left the egg sac at the corner for quite a few days already, so, yeah, it is time to give this a shot, I guess. Oh my gosh. Let's take the, this one. You know, to be honest, it smells like normal eggs, like, you know, fried egg. So here it is. You know, it ain't half bad. Oh my god, what am I doing? It ain't bad. Like seriously, it's a big one. The biggest of the lot. It's actually not bad. I mean, it's infertile. If I were to do this, I would have threw away the eggs and it would have gone to waste. And if I didn't throw the eggs, I would have probably preserved it. What's the point in that? I was curious. And to my surprise, just like normal chicken egg. Now, I don't condone you guys to do this. Just don't do this. But I mean, I'm a crazy, crazy guy. Even if it wasn't infertile, which is, it is, because tarantulas usually, when the mother holds the egg sac, she will always slightly turn the egg sac, so the babies will not die. And she's already left this egg sac at the corner. Even if it was a fertile egg sac, they would have probably all died already. So I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes for this video, but you know what, I don't care, because it's infertile. I didn't hurt anything. So, yeah. Curiosity did not kill the cat on this one. Anyways, guys, that'll be it for this video. Here is the egg sac. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Peace.
Oh, maybe I'll take another one. You must be thinking I'm crazy. <laughs>